Here is the exact study plan that I recommend to learn ML in 2024. I'm a Georgia Tech alum, and now I'm in my final semester of my master's in machine learning. I started GPT Learning Hub almost a year ago with the mission of simplifying complex ML concepts. In that time, I've worked with educators like Deep from Needcode to create ML practice questions, and I've had Grant from 3Blue1Brown endorse those practice problems. Okay, here's the study plan. We have two main categories of machine learning, classical machine learning and deep learning. Classical machine learning refers to models like k-means, SVM or support vector machines, decision trees, PCA, and the naive Bayes algorithm. Don't worry if you're not familiar with these, I'll link resources in the description. Deep learning, on the other hand, is the field focused on neural networks, which are the models that power LLMs, Tesla's self-driving, deepfakes, and other generative AI applications. In universities and in a lot of online courses, classical ML is taught before deep learning. Classical ML algorithms have been around a lot longer than neural networks and are a lot simpler to train and deploy in production. But I'll be honest, those algorithms aren't as exciting as neural networks, which power applications like GPT and Sora. Also, you don't really need to learn everything about classical ML before studying deep learning. If deep learning sounds interesting to you, feel free to go straight to studying it using the outline I'll provide later in the video. Don't get me wrong, classical ML algorithms are still important to learn. Not only can they come up in interviews, but they're also still used in production systems every day as generative AI is still fairly niche. But if you're still watching this video, you're probably curious about deep learning and neural networks. So here is the exact outline I recommend. First, review the math required for deep learning. This might be controversial, but I don't think you need any crazy math to study deep learning. Pages of calculus aren't necessary, at least when you're first getting started. I recommend mastering topics like matrix multiplication and very basic derivatives like x squared and e to the x. In the top right, I'll link a visual review of the math you need for deep learning. Once you're familiar with the required math, the next topic to learn is gradient descent. This is the equation for how models are actually trained. It's time to stop treating learning as a black box. I've created countless videos on gradient descent, and with each iteration, I've made my explanation more and more concise. The latest edition is only three minutes long, and I'll link it in the top right. I can't emphasize enough how important this algorithm is. I'd recommend watching it right after this video. Next, linear regression. It might not be the most exciting model, but it's actually the foundation of neural networks and the rest of artificial intelligence as a whole. Master linear regression, and you're on your way to mastering machine learning. Finally, once you're familiar with gradient descent and linear regression, you'll be ready to dive into neural networks. I have an entire array of neural network videos, from Neural Nets 101 to a multiple choice quiz, and even a video where we implement one in PyTorch. Don't worry, there's no PyTorch background required for that video. I go over all the required PyTorch functions as they come up. Feel free to choose any of the neural network videos that interest you most. So what are you waiting for? Get started on your deep learning journey today.